worst NHL GMs, Ken Holland, Edmonton Oilers. Ken Holland was already featured on an earlier episode of Worst NHL GMs, but on his tenure as GM of the Detroit Red Wings. Holland has already been the GM of the Edmonton Oilers since July of 2019 and has since made his share of head-scratching moves. Here are the worst moves made by Ken Holland as GM of the Edmonton Oilers. Here are his worst trades. Trading Milan Lucic and a third round pick in 2020 to the Calgary Flames for James Neal. Trading John Marino to the Pittsburgh Penguins for a sixth round pick in 2019. Trading Ethan Bear to the Carolina Hurricanes for Warren Fogel. Trading a first round pick in 2022, a third round pick in 2024, and a second round pick in 2025 to the Arizona Coyotes to dump Zach Kaskian's contract just for the 32nd pick overall. Acquiring Duncan Keith and Tim Soderlund from the Chicago Blackhawks for Caleb Jones and a conditional fourth round pick in 2021. Acquiring Brett Kulak from the Montreal Canadiens for a conditional second round pick in 2022. William Lagesson and a seventh round pick in 2024. Here are his draft mistakes. In the 2019 draft, the Oilers chose Philip Broberg over Matt Boldy and Cole Caulfield. Raphael Laval over Alex Vlasic. Mate Blumo over Henry Thune. Thomas Mazura over Raphael Harvey Pinard and Maxim Desnishkin over Yusuf Parsonin. In the 2020 draft, the Edmonton Oilers drafted Dylan Holloway over Caden Gooley, Tyler Tulio over William Dufour, Maxi Bereskin over Samuel Johannesson, and Philip Angeris over Devon Levi. In the 2021 draft, the Oilers drafted Xavier Borgo over Wyatt Johnson, Luca Munzenberger over Joshua Waugh, and Jake Chison over Topias Villain. At the 2022 draft, the Edmonton Oilers don't make the draft day trade to dump Zach Cassian's contract. 2022 draft changes. Edmonton Oilers draft Brad Lambert 29th overall and Josh Philman 158th overall. Here are his worst signings. Darnell Nurse to an 8-year deal worth $9.25 million per season. Jack Campbell to a 5-year deal worth $5 million per season and Zach Cassian to a 4-year deal worth $3.2 million per season. In the 2019 draft, Ken Holland and the Edmonton Oilers had the 8th overall pick in the draft, which put them in position to draft a very impactful player. However, they chose to select Swedish defenseman Philip Broberg with that pick over forwards such as Trevor Zegris, Matt Boldy, and Cole Caulfield. In the 2020 offseason, Ken Holland rewarded Zach Cassian to a four-year deal worth $3.2 million per season, coming off a year when he had 15 goals and 34 points, all career highs. Given Cassian's gritty play style and his inability to generate offensive chances apart from playing with McDavid, this contract ended up being a hindrance to the team. So at the 2022 draft, the Oilers packaged a first round pick in 2022, a third round pick in 2024, and a second round pick in 2025, along with Zach Cassian, just to trade for the 32nd pick overall. Had they simply not re-signed Cassian, the Oilers would not have to give up an extra two picks to unload his contract. The 2022 offseason was the summer for overpaying defensemen. Right after the Chicago Blackhawks handed Seth Jones an 8-year extension worth $9.5 million AAV, the Oilers gave Darnell Nurse an 8-year 9.25 AAV extension. To put into perspective how overpaid Darnell Nurse is, here are some defensemen who make around 9 to 9.5 AAV. Charlie McAvoy, Adam Fox, Roman Yossi, Kale McCarr, and Dougie Hamilton. All of these defensemen are stud number one defensemen who can put up 60 plus points while Darnell Nurse's career high in points was last year when he had 12 goals and 43 points. It's not that Darnell Nurse is not a good defenseman. He is a very solid top 4 defenseman, but he's not a number 1 defenseman that he is paid to be. If he's making $9 million per season, he should be able to quarterback a power play and shut down other teams top players. The biggest mistake that Ken Holland made was signing Jack Campbell to a 5 year deal worth $5 million per season in free agency in the summer of the 2022 offseason. Since signing this contract, Jack Campbell has lost his starting job to Stuart Skinner and will most likely split goaltending duties this year. This means the Oilers are spending $7.6 million this season on their goaltending to be mediocre, when they could better use Campbell's $5 million to improve other areas of the team. Making a crucial mistake like this one will cost you a chance 
to win the Stanley Cup in the salary cap era. It is safe to say that Ken Holland is at this point living off his previous reputation, but as the game evolves, the good GMs of yesteryear have become ancient fossils. 